On the last episode of Too Extreme, Kurt, the newest member of the team, left the crew hanging as he went off to get married. Ah! With Kurt gone, the crew had to find out where he put all the parts. Once the parts were found, it was time to assemble the motor. Dave noticed that the cam chain supplied with the kit was way too long, so the cases had to be split all over again. A little stress relief was needed, so the crew took a break to celebrate Chase's 18th birthday with a bang. <laughs> Once the celebration was over, the stress did not take long to return. Once the motor was assembled and installed, it would not start because of a reversed starter clutch. It's not hitting the gear. I put it in the exact same way it came out. Maybe not. It's time to have a lot of fun with this scooter. We've done the performance modifications, but now it's time to trick out the look. We hooked up with our friend here, Paul, at Exotic Science in South Florida. He came up with an unbelievable drawing of graphic application for this project. I cannot wait to see this when it's done. We're going to get started right now, so let's go see Paul at Exotic Science. I really didn't expect him to wait for me. Now, Paul, here at Exotic, you do not only scooters, but you do I've seen motorcycles in here, I've seen cars, trailers, so you pretty much do custom graphics for anything. Yeah, we've done airplanes, helicopters, planes, trains, automobiles, the whole gamut of vehicles. Uh, There's not much we haven't put decals on at one point or another through the life of the business. Now you've also done some pretty uh, trick graphics that have actually made it into some, some uh, national publications as well? Yeah, we've been in uh, plenty of the sign industry magazines, local magazines, local TV. Uh, even internationally. We've had several write-ups about the company in Italy and France, Europe, Russia. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty well-known name. So you're pretty much worldwide. That's great. Well, we can't wait to get your talents here on the scooter. We'll get this thing finished up and have a pretty unique looking machine. Great. Let's get started. All right. We're here today wrapping the different pieces and adding the corporate logos and the sponsors of the show to this bike to give it that race look and that finished product. Without the wrapping and the logos, the projects look incomplete. This will finalize everything and make it look like that professional project is done. It's been exciting having Two Extreme here, Exotic. It's been our first TV crew in filming us actually doing graphics. <laughs> the project they brought us was a bit out of the ordinary. Scooters are really round and curved. The project takes a little bit more time and effort. For example, just this scooter rack alone took us a few hours to wrap. Uh, what I'm gonna do is you tape it down so it stays in place, and then we'll peel back halfway, lay down the bottom, and then go over the curve and lay it down top. This would be exciting, man. It's got to be on TV. You got to, you know, enthusiasm, smile. Hey, man, it's easy the... on this side. Yeah, you're the rock star. Yeah. There's several methods of putting things down. Because of this being a wrap material, it goes down dry. One of the methods that we use is basically taping it in place, getting it where you want it to be, putting some masking tape along the very bottom edge. Basically it creates a hinge effect. So when you roll this back, it's going to go right back where you put it. So the positioning is going to stay the same. And that's the most important part of keeping the vehicle consistent. Now with decal like the bigger one, it's going to be a bit more difficult <clears throat> because it has to get over this big curve. And as you can see, just when you push this over, you see these big fingers that get created. So when you're going to apply this, we're going to have to put the bottom down, and then slowly work the top into place so it doesn't have those same fingers within the decal. Slowly work the decal from the bottom up, side to side, but now you're gonna kinda work the different areas separately. Instead of treating it as a whole, you're just gonna kinda break it down into little segments to get each piece to lay down. As you can see right here, it's kinda starting to bunch up. Again, this is where you go back and hit a little bit of heat. You can kinda see it shrink up. One of the biggest tricks to doing the vinyl is using the heat to either stretch, shrink, or really help you make the vinyl pliable. You know, this is a motorcycle. It's not something that's going to be inspected with a magnifying glass. So don't be worried if you see little uh, lines or blemishes that are from the paint underneath. You can't change the paint, so just keep working. It'll look great when you're done. 
That way we can go ahead and use this to get it centered. Once we have it centered, we put a piece of tape on the bottom. Take these off. Fold it back. Roll wax paper halfway back. Apply the decal. Obviously, I'm not going to do it right now. Apply it. Once you get about halfway, peel the rest off and put the rest of it down. Remember, it's pressure sensitive, so that means push. So you're a pro already. Oh yeah, I'm good. Huh, what now? Now you wrap the rest of it, and I sit back and watch. It's beer time. Go home now. Well, another one's in the books for the two extreme crew. The Super 6 scooter looks awesome. The graphics provided by Exotic Signs made a huge difference. Up next will be the moment we've all been waiting for. The two extreme Super 6 scooter hits 80 miles per hour. Next on two extreme, half the wheels and twice the fun.